Hello everyone. Is that good? Yeah, film without me. Look at this crown. Do you see this? So today, because it is my birthday, when you are seeing this, it is my birthday the next day. Today, Christopher has kindly offered to make me my favorite meals. So he's going to make all of my favorites today, and then we're gonna film the whole process. So you want to see Chris in the kitchen? Here he is, right here. in the kitchen. So yeah, that is what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna follow Christopher around the kitchen. I'm gonna ask a lot of annoying questions and Christopher is gonna make some delicious food. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it and you wanna see more of this face in videos. Don't shake your head at me. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> okay, so so actually, I'm not gonna follow Christopher around. Well, I mean, I am just not from behind the camera. I'm just gonna stand here and like peer over your shoulder. So the first recipe we're gonna do is actually the chocolate cake, which is the sign of a birthday. Yes. Are you doing a triple batch? Yes. <gasps> yes! Because my mom asked about it because we're going over there tomorrow. Yeah, so three cups sugar. White sugar. The eggs. You have, he's reading that he has his, all of his yeah. recipes on his phone. 12 tablespoons of Butter. Get it in there. This is great. I can just watch. It's like I'm I'm inside a tutorial. Oh, tablespoon vanilla. And this is the recipe Chris uses for basically all of everyone's birthday. Everyone requests this chocolate cake. It's so good. I got this recipe from my mom, who says that she got it from her mother-in-law, who denies knowledge of its existence. So I don't know where it's from. All right. Well. Wait, hold, are you just leaving? Can't escape my camera. <laughs> oh, I've learned that. Wet ingredients are being beaten. This is what it looks like, everyone. Ta-da! Flour, three and three quarter cups. Is it all purpose, regular? All sifted? purpose, yep, white Did flour. Did you sift it? Mm, yes. <laughs> there was no sifting involved. Baking soda, baking powder, salt, cocoa, nine tablespoons. Chris is so much cleaner in the kitchen than I am. Like all of the mess, it's literally in like three little bowls here that I'm now going to load into the dishwasher. Wait, hold on, <laughs> you're leaving again? Okay, now what are you doing? Just adding this, uh, adding dry ingredients in batches here. Coffee. This is just regular coffee. coffee. Yep. A little more dry. And a little coffee. Coffee. Don't worry about me, everyone. Just <laughs> clearing up space on my phone so I can film. How many selfies did I take of myself? I'm just gonna hang out here, with spatula and some coffee. Yeah. Missed. <laughs> I did not miss. Now I'm starting to get bored. <laughs> this is my type A personality. I want to do something. How can I help? Uh, Entertain the people at home. Juggle some nut. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I'll tell you guys what I'm doing on my birthday. So my birthday is on Sunday, which is tomorrow when you're watching this video. And I am going over to my parents' place and we're just gonna relax. Um, my parents have a pool, so we'll probably go swimming. Hopefully the weather is nice, but just gonna keep it pretty low key. I like a good low key birthday, you know? Like I don't wanna get, like I don't wanna do like a big hoopla thing. Hoopla. Oh. What are you doing? Things are happening. Things are happening, ah! Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. So what are you making with said cucumbers? These are from our garden, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. I'm making pickles. Um, did you tell them what we're making? No, no I didn't. Chicken I thought it burgers. would be a surprise. Mm -hmm. yeah. And apparently, they're from a recipe that says that they're a lot like Chick-fil-A burgers, which I've never had, but I really want to try. Apparently, Chick-fil-A burgers are just bun, and chicken and pickles. I don't know. Any anyway. Americans want to help us out here? We have no idea. Are they gonna be done in time? Yeah, apparently yeah. apparently 30 minutes. So I guess I should tell you guys about what this chicken burger actually is because it's unbelievable. It is like a crispy chicken battered burger thing and it has, we're doing like fry sauce with it, pickles with it, um, and it's just, it's unbelievable. I love it. It is what I want basically every single birthday. That or Chris also does a really good uh, smoked salmon, like a big salmon filet out on the barbecue. Oh my gosh, it's also really good. Oh, I should have done that too. I'll do that for my next birthday. And we're doing the cake and where are we doing the cucumber salad? The cucumber olive. Oh, yeah, I'll, yeah. yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, so there's like a cucumber, tomato, olive salad that's also really, really good, so. That is what is on tap today. Okay, so what, what do we have here? Uh, this is water and vinegar. Half and half? Yep, a uh, cup of each. <laughs> this is uh, pickling spices, mustard seeds, peppercorns, 
a couple other things, kosher salt, eat it up and then just pour it over. And then you just pour over it and you let it sit? Yeah. That's really easy. Did anyone else think that making pickles was a lot more of like an involved process? Maybe it's canning the pickles that I'm thinking of. Canning, you have to put canning that. is a Canning thing. is a thing. Once the pickles are covered in the brine, you have to put a paper towel like on top in the water to keep them down. Oh, oh, so they don't float. Yeah, but I'm not sure that'll do anything, but we'll see. All right, so we have the liquid. Mm -hmm. It has simmered. Yep. I'm gonna burn myself. It smells really good. Yeah, it does. Up close footage. And then just putting the paper towel on top. Yeah. All right. Okay. We're gonna let that sit for 30 minutes. I like how I say we, like I'm doing anything. Oh, you're gonna let it sit. <laughs> I will let it sit, all right. <laughs> okay, what's next? Uh, salad. Salad, yeah. okay. More cucumbers. More cucumbers. Okay, so we're going to peel the cucumbers because cucumbers grown from the garden, the, um, I was gonna call it a shell, it's not <laughs> a shell. The cucumber shell. The cucumber shell. The skin is very tough, so. It might I, just be the maybe it's variety, just the variety that I got. I don't know cucumbers very well. Oh, I should get a bowl. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Trish has our bowl. Let's go in a plain white bowl then. Note to self. Get cute salad bowl for a mother-in-law. Are these tomatoes from the garden too? Shh, this one isn't. Yes. Because some uh, some rodent has been stealing all of my tomatoes. If anyone has any solutions, I have no idea what kind of animal it is, but whatever it is, is going in, taking the best tomato, eating half of it, and then leaving the rest of it in front of me on my deck. Like it just wants you to know that it didn't feel like finishing all of it, but it will take it at any time. Can I put them in the bowl? Can I get the ingredients? No, I'm gonna relax. <laughs> Learn to relax, Rachel. There are just a couple of cherry tomatoes that are ripe and as of an hour or so ago have not been eaten by oh, our sweet. squirrel friend. I found one ripe one. Was that it? Yeah. Right. The other ones are like yellow and red. Mm. I need a name for the squirrel. Sound, sound off below. So this is a tomato, cucumber, olive salad. Olive oil, balsamic, kosher salt. Give her a little mixy mix. All right, salad. Done. I worked so hard, everyone. Look at how hard I worked on this. All right, so to batter these, this is like a spice blend, paprika and garlic powder and a bunch of other stuff. We blended that all up. Actually, do you want to talk about the chicken first? Oh, okay, yeah, so. yeah. So last was, night we did a whole bunch of this prep. This was an overnight marinade, so this is our chicken. This is three chicken breasts cut, um, cut horizontally in half to make thinner and pounded flat. I put it in a spice blend with some buttermilk to marinate overnight. And then the rest of the spice blend goes into this um, flour batter. By the way, I gotta plug this. The recipe's from this book, which is the only reason why anyone thinks I know how to cook. So shout out to my boy, Kenji. Every recipe we have tried from that book has been successful. It's awesome. Throw a little of the buttermilk marinate into the flour mixture. Why is, why is that? It makes it craggier when you fry it, right? Okay, so now it's all kind of like Incorporated clumpy. a little bit, and now I just grab them one at a time. Would you rather do this? I know how much you like handling raw meat. Yeah, it's my favorite thing in the whole world. Look at that. Oh, it's gonna be so good. All right, so now we are frying. Okay, so any tips for this? Mm, throw some salt on them once they come out. Like that. Try, a little, try that little, little crispy part at the end there. Oh, yes. Oh. It's so good, guys. Okay, so salt it when it comes out of the fryer. Yep. Fry it for about four minutes. Yep. And you're just moving it around a lot? Yeah. Not too much, but yeah, just trying to keep it moving. Do you flip it? Yeah, at about the halfway mark. Don't tell me you don't want some of this. Okay, so now we are making the fry sauce. What goes in? This is mayo, some mustard, the big mishmash of condiments, ketchup, pinch of cayenne, a little teaspoons of sugar, and then two tablespoons of pickle brine. From the homemade pickles, ooh. It's so good. I know it sounds weird, but unless you've tried it, you have no idea. It's so delicious. The book says it's a Southern US thing. Ta-da! All right, let's make these burgers. I don't even have to make my own burger. This is exciting. A little fry sauce. Just like a little, 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 little something, dab. something, a little dabby dab there. And then some delicious sides here. Um, nom nom. Thank you. Oh, it's so good. It's like crispy. It's got some spice to it. And the pickles are really good. 
Oh, that's well Christopher. You're the best. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna get into icing, which is actually my specialty. So I just creamed a little bit of butter and some icing sugar. And now I'm gonna add in a little bit of milk, some chocolate syrup, and this is the coffee mate, this is the cafe mocha stuff. This is what I put in my coffee, but I find it tastes really good in the icing. And I don't have specific measurements for how I do it. I just combine stuff until it looks like icing. Okay, so I'm gonna add in some milk, icing sugar, a little drizzle of the chocolate syrup. Hopefully, anyway. <laughs> and then a little bit of this. Now we mix. Start slow, otherwise you'll do what I did and you'll just have ice and sugar just fly up in your face. It's fairly good consistency, but I want it more chocolatey. And also I need more of it, because Christopher tripled the cake. Did you see the cake? Ooh. Depends on how you like your icing consistency. Some people like it a little runnier. I personally like it a little thicker, because otherwise I find that it just runs off of the cake. Look at the cake. Voila. Ta-da! It's not my birthday yet, I can't sing it. Don't skimp on the icing. There's a big well in the middle. Oh, yes. That's why you do bunt cakes. Ready? One, two, three. Happy mm -hmm. birthday. No, oh, thank you. Good icing. Mmm, good cake. Oh, it's almost still warm in the center. That was really good. Thank you, you're the best. Mwah. Too much lip gloss. So yeah, that is my birthday dinner. Christopher's the best, makes me delicious food. And now I'm gonna go and enjoy my cake. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you, Christopher, for filming and putting together all of this. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye! Bye, everyone.